We must act now to stop the BBC suffering death by a thousand cuts, says Patrick Barwise. Why? Let him die. Anyway, let's take a look at this story. So I found this story in the Scottish Herald, and it's about a guy who likes the BBC. Surprise, surprise, someone in the media supports a media company. Breaking news, eh? Well, let's take a look at this, and we'll have a chat about what we think of it in a minute. Next year, the BBC celebrates its centenary. Respected and envied and resented by autocrats around the world, the heart of Britain's highly successful broadcasting ecology and creative industries and a key driver of its global soft power. And, despite endless claims to the contrary and attempts to undermine it, still the UK's most trusted news source and most widely used entertainment medium. Is the BBC the UK's most widely used entertainment medium? I don't think this guy has any ideas. Another one of these people in their little bubble. Now, if you had to guess, I'll give you one guess of what the UK's most widely used entertainment medium would be. What would you say? The internet, not fucking BBC. What's wrong with these people? They think it's all something magical and special, don't they? Anyway, let's, let's keep reading. In a world of growing disinformation and with post-Brexit Britain now alone in a harsh geopolitical world, we need it more than ever. Yet, the BBC has never been in greater peril, and astonishingly, the main reason is Britain's own government. Supported by raucous, bee-bashing newspapers, the two organisations currently attacking it almost every day are the Chinese Communist Party and the Daily Express. Granted, pretty much both the same thing there, but supported by raucous, bee-bashing newspapers, the two organisations currently attacking it are the Chinese Communist When was the Chinese Communist Party a bloody newspaper? And what does it matter to you if the Chinese Communist Party don't like our state-run media channel? What business is it there? Who gives a shit? I don't like Chinese news channels. You know what? I don't watch them. But I can't have too much of an opinion on it because I'm not Chinese. You know, the more of these I read, and I come across these stories every single day in the paper, and I've stopped bringing you a lot of them because they're all a bit samey, but this one got my back up because it just proves again that supporters of the BBC live in a little bubble. And this is a reporter from the Scottish Herald, and my thoughts on this would be he would quite like to work for the BBC, so he wouldn't dare say anything bad about it, would he? Because if you're a journalist... That's the dream, isn't it, BBC? Easy money. They've got to pay more than most people, and you get to do bugger all most of the day. So I don't trust any reporter who's saying nice things about the BBC, because all they want to do is work at the BBC. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, as always. And while you're down there, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit it, and then you get to see my latest videos as soon as they come out and hit the like button. And there's links down there to stuff I think you should have if you want to be TV licensed free or at t-shirts and mugs and all that stuff. And I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.